Okay, here's for the first unboxing of the whole trilogy. The Motion Picture. Star Trek The Motion Picture. Widescreen laser disc. Okay. So, um, we're going to take it out and see what it looks like. I believe alone, no, I was wrong about all of them. Some of them do have two. Kind of a pain in the ass. They're all CLV discs, too, so those are the longer ones. I often wonder what. They can put 60 minutes on a disc. I've seen it. The quality is negligible, so I don't understand why they don't do it. Okay. Um, if you open this up, just perfect. Maybe um, a couple of heel line scratches on the very top. That's what happens though when you um try to put them in the player all the time. The middle is a little. No, there's really nothing. A couple scratches on this one, but nothing, nothing bad. <laughs> That's good. These people know this. I think it's a girl. That because they left me a note inside the box, so it doesn't really matter who it is. No, it doesn't. I'm just saying. Then you got side three, which I believe this is the final side. All right. Um. Let's see, look at this. Very good condition. Uh oh. Yeah. The light scratch, scratch going over there. <laughs> Nothing at all. It'll affect it. I have a scratch to shit laser disc called All That Jazz, and it still worked perfectly. So. People are a little crazy about laser discs because they work fine as long as you don't destroy them or throw them against the wall. In some ways, I've had more luck with laser discs than I have with DVDs. Actually, Blu-rays now, since those are all giving me huge problems. All right, um, I don't like to put them in with the disc coming out. The reason why I don't like doing that is because what if something happens? You don't want them flying out of the thing. All right, so. Usually I quit at this point because I have to get into myself. Alright, bye-bye.